I, I, I suppose I wasn't sure how, how the project was going to go because I, 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 I was going to be working with people who hadn't, hadn't painted since their childhood. But then I, I was so surprised and it was such a revelation to me because they took to, to it so naturally and they hadn't painted you know, since, since they were at school. So they, they absolutely loved it and they just took to it so naturally. Anne is delivering workshops on site, working with residents um, of nursing homes and also users of a daycare centre setting and teaching them how to paint in their spaces. And we're going to have an exhibition of that work here in the gallery. We're aware of the fact that there's lots of people who can't come into the gallery space and experience the uh, exhibition programme that we offer. And so this is a way for us to connect with people who might not be able to actually physically get into this space. Painting Back is, a, is the title of the project. It sums up the whole notion of painting back to, to yourself, uh, to, to your true self, uh, maybe to your childhood, uh, to precious moments in your life. You, re you reconnect yourself when, when you're painting. I guess I wanted to offer them something, something that I get from painting. I just wanted to offer them a, like a sense of peace. I, I hope that I can open a doorway for, for the individuals, if they if they never painted before. Yes. Do you want just a wee bit? Just a wee bit. Do a wee bit. Sometimes they be really really afraid to join the group. Sometimes I might say, do you want to just come and join us anyway? It's a, you know you can watch them paint. If you get some people as far as the table, maybe maybe they, they, at the last minute they say, oh no I I don't want to do this. I I I'll ruin your paper. Sometimes they'll say I don't want to waste your your paper. Um, I, I just just laugh and say like it's just, it's just it's just a bit of fun. Sometimes I, I could do a very very simple drawing, just a very simple outline of a tree or, or flowers. It's just to get the person to pick up the paintbrush in their hand. For me as an artist, uh, I I can only paint something that I truly love because it's an investment of of time and and labour and um, of of hard work. So I, I can only really truly love something to want to paint it. That, that's, that's, where, that's where it all starts from, is, 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 is a feeling of love for the subject, subject matter. So I'm always quite mindful of that when I, when I meet a, an individual. I would have um, different imagery and ask them what they're interested in, get to know them, you know, the, their, their background. Anyone has to, has to be really interested in, in the subject matter in, in order to, to, to want to recreate it or, or do, do their own creative version of it. Jean Sproul, the Narrow Gauge Railway. Hey, that's a good one. That's the Narrow Gauge Railway. You know, you won't be too young to remember the Narrow Gauge down through Stavon, on through Lifford and turn out to Bundoon. We weren't going in anywhere particular because there's a time the war was on and you got, Bundoon was the nearest place you could get to a seaside from around here. That I knew of anyway. So we made the journeys pretty often. It was a nice journey and a good day. <laughs> but it's need to be prepared for the rain. She started uh, drawing, sketching out the picture, the very, the very first one. She, she, was, she was deep in concentration. She, she, was, she was really being drawn into it. And after a while I came over to her and she, she started to, get, to remember back to when her, her mother used to buy her these co co different coloured markers uh, every week. The process of, of making a, a painting reminded her of her mother and just brought her back to when she last, she last made a painting. It was when, when she was a child. It was, I thought it was just such a beautiful memory to have. I like outdoors, all well, outdoors and moving about through. Like, I get on a goal and Molly is kind of there driving around the country, observing houses. And, where the people who used to be occupants in that house would be today. Don't blend the background of the years going by, you know. I tend to use photography as a source material in my own work to trigger, you know, feelings of, uh, of nostalgia and atmosphere and to trigger the imagination. This is a painting because it reminded me of when I was a child, when you used to go to the country, and all these wee cottages were all dotted all over the place, you know. And I used to think it was lovely with the flowers all growing up, up the walls outside, and, and, and things like that. 
you know. I feel the the whole process of of creating a painting like that is extremely powerful. I feel it's a very powerful, relaxing, healing effect. Um, you kind of go you go into a trance like when you're painting, and uh, I feel from my experience working with older people that that it has a similar effect. I, I try to to give them the same experience. I hope that they have the same experience. One time, an older person said to me, she she forgets the the pain that she's in when she's painting. And I thought that that was a very powerful statement. And another lady said to me that she 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 likes to do painting. The reason she likes to do painting is because it helps her to forget about the the regrets she has in life. It felt like I was in my own little world. I, I, I forgot about the people around me, and usually I'm very conscious of myself. Being able to to spend time with people and um, hear their stories and hear their reminiscences and to watch them being able to relax and get calm and, and express themselves through the simple act of painting. It's just been really, uh, it's been an honor. Relaxes you. Sorry, I'm going to be for longer. It runs very short, I think, for me, anyway. It relaxes your body, your head, and you're not thinking about anything. You're thinking in the colours, you're thinking in what you're doing, and trying to do your best. And and because something that's, of, but I hope you know. It's true, she likes to sit me. Yeah. Sometimes I just don't get it care. It occupies all day. You know. Uh, it occupies all day. It does. It takes, it takes you away. Aye, uh, it does. I felt that the stuff, there was a nice quietness about it. And, uh, I don't think there's any good at it. I don't think I'm any good at it. But uh, I, I, just the relaxing atmosphere of the whole thing, I, I thought it was nice. And you're not thinking about anything no, else. You're thinking you're, what you're doing. Yeah, and that's, 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 and, and yeah, that's the colours and the drone and see if it thinks it looks like anything. At the moment you make a mark on paper, it, it, it's, it, it's kind of assertion of, of your own individuality, your, your identity, you know, like, like that, uh, that expression, making your mark. So they're, they're, they're with people, but at the same time they're on their own. That's another thing about painting. You're not put on the spot to make conversation. It's just a real relaxed setting. It was lovely from all of the staff involved as well, because they praised the work. And that, that boosts self-confidence and morale, you know. Um, I mean, the abilities of most, you know, there, there was a mix of abilities there, you know, but the artist could help them see what was good about their painting. You were relaxed. Yes, you were really relaxed and you took great pride in it. I think. It's the first I have ever done. Did you enjoy doing this project? I did enjoy doing it, yes. What did you like about it? I liked the whole thing, the painting and the atmosphere. The crack, everything was very good. I enjoyed the company of the people and the explaining of the painting and actually doing it. I find that very relaxing. And, yeah, I'm glad I did it. I am pleased I did it. Uh, yeah, it took you away from the every day. And I put you in another world, like we could <coughs> concentrate on it and, and get involved in it. You can see by the members in the room, a lovely atmosphere, really nice atmosphere. Uh, everybody very relaxed. You know, we have a mixed clientele here. We have people that, have, you know, are going through trauma in their lives and stuff like that. And, and they are just flowing, you know. It's just as much about the conversation as well, you know, as, as, as making a painting. And I say, um, you know, just when I'm in the mood. Okay, I okay. Love, and if we have parties, yeah. I like showing off. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a beautiful voice. What I had, I took it from my father, uh -huh. and that's a funny voice to have. My mummy couldn't sing a note. She'd not, and no. Uh, my sister 
My sister yeah, would make you sick. <laughs> I used to tell her that she sang. But you wouldn't listen to her. You know what I mean? I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. The parties after concerts were better than the concerts. <laughs> yeah. Did you do art when you were in school? I went the wee nuns. We done more praying. Saviour of the world, save Russia. That was all we got was the wee nuns. <laughs> Praying for half a dairy. I never drew in my life. Never drew. No, <laughs> no way. But whenever I got under that there, just sat down, you just, just relax doing it. Uh, Enjoy uh, doing it, uh, definitely. So did I too. Enjoy doing it. I'm going to buy paints now and board and whatever. I'm going to do it at home. It wasn't bad, you know, for now. If you were going to give your painting a title, what would you call that painting? What? What would you call your painting? That's what I do. I wouldn't really know what would you go. The Hills of Donegal. The Hills of Donegal. Having a rest. Having a rest. <laughs> <laughs> this is Monica Mitchell. She's having a rest. Yeah. That's just Monica there, is it? <laughs> she likes to relax uh, and take it easy. I'll give you one here. Little House on the Prairie. Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> <laughs> There's a story nearly behind them all, isn't there? They've all told their own story. Milk farm. Milk farming. Yeah. Sometimes you never think when the person was in, you never think what their life has been. You know, they had a life before they came in here. This is your painting and it's hanging on the wall. Uh, it's by Kathleen McCluskey. <laughs> We're working towards this exhibition. I'm really looking forward to the participants being able to come into the gallery space and, and see their work on the walls in a professional gallery. And at the end then they can, they can just see the results of each other's work, which is really lovely. How do you feel about your work being in an exhibition? Terrified. <laughs> so mad. You don't she look I am terrified <laughs> about what we done in the, on the next vision. Uh, terrified. And uh, everybody was whatever just so proud today. Proud to see the, the work out of the context of the the, the nursing home and, and up the up on the wall. The, everyone I spoke to today, they just they were all saying how different it looked because it was up on the, the gallery wall. It was just amazing to see them all come into the gallery space and to watch their expressions as they saw their paintings on the wall of this gallery. Congratulations. And one person, she, she even said to me that her, her hands were shaking when she was coming into the gallery space. She was so nervous. It didn't cross my mind that they would be nervous. Um, I guess I, I would be nervous myself if I was going to an exhibition about my work. We've had a really good afternoon. Great food, we've had music, um, a sing-song. It's been a really special experience. Tell me what you're going to do with that painting. Uh, I'm giving it to the daughter. It's really heightened my awareness of, of the, does it be the powerful impact a painting has on a, on a person. Esther. Yeah. Did you think that you could paint like this? No, I never was really good at painting at school or anything. I never thought I could. And how do you feel when you I, look at that now? I think it's not. I think it's not too bad for it. I'm not that used to painting, so I think it's quite quite good. You know. I think it's brilliant. Uh, it's not too bad. It was teaching as well as therapy. You know, the, the art therapy is very important. And with a few ladies there, um, one lady that always thought it was her sister who was the artist in the family and she's produced beautiful work today through this project. How did you feel when you were painting it? Well, I didn't know what way it would turn out when I was painting but it looked too bad when I see it. It went very well. Um, some, some of the images rem reminded them of, of something from their own lives. I welcome it very much because it's a change from the norm and the normal routine and I think it helps the residents and staff. I guess in the future it's 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 something that could be developed. That, that I, would, I would use more personal source material, maybe get the participants to 
bring in their own imagery, their own photographs, that would have a really powerful impact as well. It would, it would energise the project even more and make it more personal. The feedback from the staff of the centres as well as the users themselves has been really positive and um, this is something that we really want to continue well into the future.